We are here in Little Rock, Arkansas, one of my favorite places. I'm from Brazil, he's from the United States, he lived a lot in, in New Orleans. So we decided to combine these two types of music with the jazz as a glue of everything. You like that? I like that, the glue. My friend, yeah. you can continue this guy. You mean we do well, it'll be the super glue <laughs> holding it together. <laughs> crazy glue. Yeah. Well, it's always fun because uh, Amaro and I have played together in many different situations. We played duo before, mm -hmm. like this, and we have um, uh, we have a lot of common musical vocabulary, a lot of common life vocabulary. Our, our families are both good friends with each other. We, we've had a lot of um, similar <clears throat> travel experiences, and so we come to this music, uh, I think, with a with a shared cultural vocabulary. So things are very easy. I mean, um, amazingly easy. I feel like. I can kind of play something, then he'll finish it, he'll play something, and I'll pick it up. So it's just like having a conversation with a, with a good old friend. I'm not saying you're old, I'm saying a good old, old, good old, good old friend. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? If I play and change something and give him a surprise or something, he's going to hear it and then change it around and throw it back at me. Uh, so it's, it's very invigorating and, and very exciting, and there's a lot of surprises. And that's really, I would say, the essence of what we're doing is, is based around improvisation. Both music, Brazilian music and music from New Orleans, from the South, they are very rhythm, rhythmic. And um, I, I like it a lot. I can play one note and just keep doing different rhythms and, and have fun with that, you know. And I guess for me to, to be lived to have lived in Brazil so long, I grew up there, and Peter in the south, we developed this rhythmic uh, side of music very much, and we we like that a lot. So it's one one more thing that I like a lot in his playing is the rhythmic part of, of, of uh, he puts in the music, which is different from from a lot of other musicians, you know. Yeah. Another thing that I noticed, you know, when I first started working with Romero was his uh, deep sense of blues and blues sensibility, which is not something that you normally would associate with Brazilian music. Um, but I remember talking to him about it. I was like, where did you get that? And, you know, he was talking about all the great blues music that he listened to, American blues music growing up. And I think it's, it's you, know, you know, it's we forget what, what an impact blues had on all world music in the 20th century. And um, that's been something that, you know, is so mm. important in New Orleans music and influential. Mm. And so we have a lot of fun, you know, a lot of the stuff we do is, is very blues influenced and, you know, through the jazz and the blues, it, it, it really comes out nice, I think. Yeah.